Today is the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. It's a holiday week here in the US, a very exciting time to be here at Walt Disney World. All of the resorts have special things going on, and we're here today at Disney's Wilderness Lodge, which has arguably the most beautiful, if not one of the most beautiful, Christmas trees on all of property, and definitely one of the most beautiful lobbies on all of property. And it just went up today. So we are gonna do our annual cozy vlog here at Disney's Wilderness Lodge, check out the Christmas tree, the special decorations, they have special treats and sweets and merch and all sorts of things and we are gonna enjoy. Let's go. Are you ready for our first look at the 2023 Wilderness Lodge Christmas tree? I can already see it. Wow. The tree is pretty much as tall as the lobby. It goes almost to the top of that vaulted ceiling up there. And it's themed for Wilderness Lodge. It's got animals, canoes, and huge, huge ornaments. And all sorts of just, you know, beautiful, wildernessy, a bear, camping themed ornaments. One of my favorite things is the flickering lights from inside the tents. Besides the main lobby tree, there are also smaller trees around the resort covered in wood carved animals, acorns, the same kind of theming but different and unique. This resort is themed after the rustic majesty of America's Great Northwest, turn of the century national park lodges. So you've got all of this American West animals and nature that you can see in here and like you're just in a beautiful old-fashioned national park lodge from just a different time in the lobby you can go up a floor or two and there are little seating areas with fireplaces really cozy and beautiful so let's go up there you also get an incredible view of the lobby and the tree so let's go up there and have a look the fireplace is crackling yay You get great views of the tree and the whole lobby. See how they've trimmed all the balconies with lit up garland. See the carved animals, there's a bear over there, an owl over there. There's animals in each one of these four pillars that reach all the way to the ceiling. Look at all those beautiful beams and the light coming in. It's a stunning piece of architecture, this building, this lobby. Everything is shiny wood and gold. All right, let's go back down. One of the most popular spots in the lobby is right here by the grand fireplace. There are rocking chairs. Look at that wreath. This fireplace is made of stone. It's 82 feet high and it's meant to represent the Grand Canyon and all the layers of time and rock and soil and fossils up to the present day. Like some of the other resorts we've been to, the other day we went to Yacht Club, Beach Club, and Boardwalk, and they had these brand new treat stands, and Wilderness Lodge has one too. They have some holiday merchandise here. They have treats. It looks like they have some hot drinks too. And a lot of it is Wilderness Lodge specific. They have these precious scenes of Mickey and Minnie drinking hot cocoa and sledding and a bunch of trees too. Wow, it's beautiful. I just don't know that they would make a lobby like this today. This is something that, it's art. The whole lobby is art. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, gingerbread houses. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look at the menu. Ooh, they have a holiday cookie box, peppermint bark. Ooh, hazelnut Linzer cookies. Hot chocolate surprise? They definitely have some unique things here. You're not gonna find that at the other resorts. Wow. Ooh. Ooh, cookie box. They have some gluten-free cookies. This is tough because they all look really good. Molasses cracker cookie. <sighs> and like the other resorts, they have their own ornaments oh my gosh each resort has their own holiday pins for 2023 and they're beautiful too i definitely want to try some of the sweets and at least one of the hot drinks they have hot cocoa and hot cider and i think since the other resorts all have hot cocoa we might go with hot cider but 
I feel like I need some real food in my system before we go in for sweets and there are quite a few different options to eat here at Wilderness Lodge so let's scope them out. There, sit down, dining, indoor, outdoor, all sorts of different things. We've got Roaring Fork, the quick service. Let's go check. Oh, here's the Thanksgiving day activities. How cute, Autumn Festival pool party. I wish I was staying here. If anyone is, bless ya. Have a, the happiest Thanksgiving ever, because that sounds amazing. The menu's changed at Roaring Fork a few times. Let's see what they've got going on here. They have different for breakfast and for lunch and dinner. Honestly, that does not sound bad. Actually sounds pretty good. They have a section of baked fresh daily goods. There's actually quite a lot more on the menu than we saw outside. They have a, a huge menu here of different entrees and it all sounds pretty good. Some of it's new. Let's do it. I haven't eaten at Roaring Fork for a long time. Let's give it a go. There's indoor seating and there's outdoor seating. I got a cozy seat inside in the AC because it is hot out there today. Believe it or not, it's Thanksgiving week. It's Florida. It's very, very warm outside. All right, it just took a few minutes. I got the barbecued brisket and burnt ends. It says it's served with potato hash, fiery coleslaw, and cornbread. This smells so good. The barbecue sauce smells sweet. The meat smells just really, really good, and it's making me hungry. And I'm really curious how fiery this coleslaw is. Like, is it gonna be spicy? We'll find out. And I got a fountain drink, got a Sprite. Let's get right in on this. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's tender. The brisket is really tender and really good. It's just loaded in sauce. Probably more barbecue sauce than I would put on it. So maybe you want to ask for the sauce on the side and uh, place it yourself. Let's try a burnt end. Mmm. It's really, really soft and tender. I'm not sure if it's a different, I feel like it's more of a vinegary tasting sauce. Maybe it's just less sauce so it tastes a little different. But the proportion is much better on the burnt end. Mm. All right. Let's see how fiery this is. I'm nervous. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Spicy. At first there was no heat, it slowly built up, and now it is hot. It's not like my whole mouth is burning on fire, like I can't tolerate it, but it is spicy. Let's try the potatoes. I mean, these are just like diced breakfast potatoes, you know? Honestly, the potatoes are cold, and they're not great. They're just like cold. I got another bite of the brisket that wasn't as slathered. And yeah, it's really good. Really tender, just really nice. It's a good little barbecue. Hmm. Fiery coleslaw is an interesting choice. It is very spicy the more you eat, the, the heat builds up. So now my mouth is burning on fire, but it tastes good, so I keep eating it. Like, it's still good, but whew, you might want to ask for normal coleslaw if uh, it's like a kid or someone who's, you know, not into spicy stuff. I've been trying to build up my spice tolerance, so I can do this. I almost forgot to tell you, the cornbread, it's light, it's fluffy, it's tasty. I very much enjoy it. It's cooling my mouth off from that very, very spicy coleslaw. <laughs> Then I can't stop eating. Besides the potatoes, that was really good. And it's kind of like a mini feast you would get at Whispering Canyon, which is an all you care to eat dining establishment in the lobby of this resort. Also really good. It's like a mini version of that for a fraction of the price. So, and it was, the portion was huge too. So good. Let's have a little stroll, enjoy the outdoors here for a little bit and walk off that dinner. like the music from the pool, people partying, and then I'm out in this peaceful nature. It's so Disney, I love it. A lot of rain recently. There's the boat docks. The blue line is back. It takes you between the resorts on Bay Lake. Okay, it's on the hour. I'm here at the geyser. I don't see any stirring. There is no stirring. It may not go off if there's wind or whatever. It feels pretty still out, but 
I'll give it a minute or two if it doesn't go off. We'll continue on our merry way. No geyser. Let's go back inside and check out some of those treats. That was a really nice walk and now we're back in the lobby and I wanna try some of the holiday treats and then see if we can find a nice cozy spot to hang out in to enjoy them as we admire this lobby decorated for the holidays. I came back up to my favorite spot. I got a molasses crackle cookie and a hot apple cider, just plain. Thought that'd be a nice little dessert. I can feel the heat from the fire. It's very warm, but it's very just comforting and relaxing. very much similar to gingerbread, but it's softer. Obviously the molasses flavor comes through. The crunchy sugar on top is really good. It's really nice cinnamon. It's really soft. It's like a delicious fresh baked good. That's a good cookie. Mm. Man, that's good. <laughs> I think I'll bring half home to Sam. He deserves it. <laughs> Make it one of the boxes, the mixed boxes of cookies they're selling here to take to Thanksgiving. I think it'll be a hit, but this is very good. Look how thick it is. It's like sweeter, more like warmer, more molasses tasting gingerbread type of a thing. It's awesome, it's really good. It goes great with the hot apple cider. It is very hot, very, very hot. The fire is kicking. Hot apple cider is hot and I am sweating. <laughs> Holidays in Florida. It's the first day of the tree and they've got a photo pass photographer out with this little sign that says joy. It's super cute so I had to take some pictures in front of the tree. See this door? Yes, that means we're going back outside again to try to catch the geyser. Come on. Don't let me down this time, geyser. I promise the people. I don't promise, but like we're gonna try. It's supposed to go off every hour on the hour, but they said it's going off at around 50 minutes past the hour, so it's 45 after. And we are gonna wait and hopefully see our geyser. That's like, it's one of those things that I just always wanna try to do when I'm here. It's 542. Sunset is happening. The moon's out. Beautiful. It's that pastel colored, dusky sky. Nice. There it is. It's happening. Woo! -hoo! Patience paid off. It's gonna go up high. Oh boy. Yes. goes 120 feet into the air. Do we think that's true? I don't see why not, right? It goes all the way up to the moon. I'm getting splashed.
and there it was. We did it. The geyser came out for us. 120 feet is what it's uh, what it says, how high it goes. Went all the way to the moon, so I believe it. It's beautiful day or night, and if you catch it, it's just a nice, just a cool detail that they added that just brings it to life. I don't know, I always love it. I love the sound it makes, and when it goes at its full height, it sprays you, like you're getting sprayed the whole time. You're just like, wah! It makes a little wind too, it's great. It just immediately gets dark. It gets dark so early this time of year, but Bay Lake is so beautiful at night. And they're doing a campfire and s'mores. Oh, I could smell that campfire from all the way back, just getting it started. Yeah. I haven't seen one of those things in so long. Yeah. It's like, what is it, like a bellows? It's a bellows, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, this one's cooler. It's like old fashioned. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, maybe like oh, cooler. Yeah. yeah maybe. <laughs> They're just getting the fire started, stoking it with a bellow. Over yonder, you can see the Contemporary Resort. Oh, it is nice tonight. Tonight's movie Under the Stars is Brave. Love that film. There's just fresh forest smell in the air here. It smells like pine and just, just trees, you know? It's so peaceful. They have one open that's a model villa, like an open house to look at. And I think, you know, the hours for that have closed, but we can take a look inside and see. They have it open, you know, for people to see this particular model villa. And it's interesting, it looks so different than the cabins we stayed at over at the fort at Fort Wilderness it looks so different. It looks very clean and modern. Not very cabiny, but very, very nice. Interesting. Maybe one day. So that one had a sign that said it was a model villa and it was an open house, but no one was there. But they had it all open and saying, like, come take a look. So interesting to see inside. Very different. And they are remodeling the cabins over at Fort Wilderness, which we stayed in fairly recently. And they're so, like, old fashioned and cozy, and I like that and we'll see what they look like once they reopen. But if you want to see that, I'll link it. Looking in from the outside with the holiday lights. It's warm, elegant, inviting. It says, come inside. It's really nice in here. And I say, okay, I will. credit to the teams who decorate the resorts, all of them, who install the Christmas trees and the wreaths and the garland. It is so much more than it even looks like. It is everywhere. It's installed impeccably, beautifully. It's all just created wonderfully. We know they create all of this 
somewhere on property and then install it at the resorts painstakingly and it's worth all the effort. It's just beautiful and I hope they continue this for years to come because it's a family tradition for so many to come out and look at this. Visiting Fort Wilderness on the day they install the Christmas tree is kind of a tradition. I do it every year just to come out and soak in the vibes and bring you along. And usually when the tree is up, that means there's also decorations all over the resort, the treat stand that we saw, there's sometimes new things. And it's just a great place to be. Really, really gets you in the holiday spirit. Seeing everybody all happy, having fun, and just making merriment. It makes your heart happy, doesn't it? The tree is five stories tall, by the way. Wow. As I always tell you, whenever I do these resort videos, if you want to come out and explore the resorts here at Walt Disney World, the best and most surefire way to do it is to park at Disney Springs, which is free, and then take a resort bus to your resort of choice. And then you can hop around many different ways. You can Uber, whatever you want. If you have a dining reservation, you can usually park at the resort. But if not, parking at Disney Springs is the most surefire way to go. It's always dependent on capacity, space, and all of that, but as of now, that's the best way I can tell you to do it. And I think that is a wrap on this annual tradition. I'll keep coming at you with more of what's going on here in Florida, anywhere that we go to travel. I like to mix it up. It is so warm from sitting by the fire. You can probably see I'm like red. It, it was hot, but it feels good. But again, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, I wish you a very happy Thanksgiving, whatever you're celebrating this week. I hope that it's very happy. And if you're celebrating nothing, it's just the kickoff to the holiday season. We're just this close to December, the kickoff to the holiday season. So I'm just sending you a ton of love and good vibes and comfort and, you know, just wishing you all the happiness. I'm grateful for a lot of things this week, like always, and one of them is you. Y'all, this amazing community, your enthusiasts like I am. I love making vlogs. That is what we do here. As some of you know, this started out as a blog, a written blog, and then I started making video blogs, and I, I, I just love making vlogs, so thank you for watching the vlogs. As for us, we are going to have a Thanksgiving feast and enjoy it, and then I will be back with more videos right after Thanksgiving. I'm sending you a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video, and until then, as always, stay enthused. Bye.